All right, picking up almost exactly where I left off on the uh, amp video, uh, but this is a different mod here. Uh, what we have here are um, some new shoulder buttons. So the original buttons on the Game Boy Advance, they use this, uh, let me see if I can focus here and show you what's going on. They use these little tack switches, but instead of plastic, these are uh, silicone rubber here. Uh, so that there's more travel to the button, more springiness when you press it. Um, retro modding sells these here. Uh, these are basically the same thing, but the button part? I don't know. There's a word for it. Uh, this part is a little bit longer, and it's plastic. There's no compression. So you can hear it's much, much more clicky. Um, supposedly better. I don't know. I've never used these before. Retro modding doesn't have them in stock at the moment. Just so you can hear how much louder that is. And uh, But I just got these direct from the original equipment manufacturer. They're like 20 cents a pop or something. Uh, you can get them off DigiKey. If you pause the video you can grab the part number off here. I think yeah it's right here. 450-1657ND or something. I don't know. If that's not it, you got the whole thing here. You can scan it or go from there. Uh, there are also these Omron switches, which are supposedly a little bit better. Personally, I don't really notice a difference, and they're both um, they're both slightly too long, so they both need to be shaved down. Uh, but if you want to try those out, these are like eighty cents a pop or something. They're quite a bit more expensive. There's the part number there. Go nuts. Anyway swap this out it's not that easy but if you have some experience soldering it's not that bad because uh, you do need to desolder and you need to desolder pretty much four pins at once if you want you can do um, hot air I'm not going to do hot air because I don't want to melt the cartridge slot or any of the other components on this thing I'm just going to try and use my solder sucker here, and hopefully this will get the majority of the solder. But I don't think it's going to. Maybe it did. It still looks like these two beefy bits in the back are still soldered down. In fact, it looks like three out of four of them are still soldered down. So I'm thinking what I might need to do is put this in a uh, vise or a holder or something and then try and work this switch off two pins at a time. Of course, you could always just cut the pins, but I'm not 100% sure about this mod. I want to be able to reverse it if possible. Just in case, I'm gonna try the solder sucker again. Sometimes it helps to, uh... oh, Jesus, the recoil on this thing. The button on this one is super sensitive. Sometimes it helps to add a little bit of solder. Even though you're trying to remove all the solder. Oh yeah. That went a lot better. Yep, 
You also want to get this as far down, you know, as, as best, as good a seal as possible over the joint that you're trying to suck. Still gonna need to work it out though. I mean, we're getting there. Move those screws before they get sucked up into that speaker. Ooh, that's not desoldered. I thought it was. I'm still thinking it might be easier to just put a big old blob of solder on uh, as many pins as possible and try and uh, walk each side off. I think I've nearly got it though. Oh, it's moving, yeah. Yeah, we got it. No lifted pads either. Okay, so I'm going to grab that with the forceps because I'm sure it's hot. Hemostat, not forcep. Okay, so the biggest difference, of course, is that the um, support pins on the back aren't quite as wide. So you have two choices there. You can cut them off. That's the easiest thing to do. Um, what I'm going to try though, because fuck it, I got a bunch of buttons just in case. I'm just going to try and bend them out a little bit. Oof, that is not going well with this tool. Okay, there we go. Then, should be able to do that. And perfect. Goes right in. I am not going to solder the two anchors yet, just in case. Because um, I'm going to give this a shot first, see how it feels. And if I hate it, the person who, uh, who commissioned this, I think they're going to take my judgment into consideration. If not, I get that too. I mean, what the hell do I know? This is all personal preference stuff anyway. Okay, so I'm going to reassemble it with, uh, I don't know how I lost a pad there. I suppose it doesn't really matter because this isn't actually going to be hooked up. I'm just sticking it in this case so we have a case to stick it in. And I wanted to use an OEM case instead of aftermarket. Oh, that's the wrong screw hole. 
well, it's not the wrong screw hole. That screw hole would work just fine. It's just that screw hole has never had a screw in it. Therefore, there was no internal threading. And yeah, I, I just didn't feel like dealing with that. Okay. So we have one and one. Let me grab some OEM shoulder buttons just so we're not using... Uh-oh. Easier said than done. Okay, looks like we're using some aftermarket shoulder buttons here. Or at least I'm going to try these horrendous pink ones. Pretty sure they're OEM. So here's the thing, this button has no travel. Like that's, that's it. You're not hearing clicking because I'm pretty sure it's already bottomed out. Just the act of putting this button in here. Which I guess makes sense. I was hoping that's not how it would happen, but that makes sense. Retro modding does mention that these buttons are taller than the original, and I did compare these off camera. I don't know if I compared them on camera, but they are definitely taller than the original. So, if I take the original here and compare it, you can see how much longer that is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do Pro Gamer move here, and I'm going to try the flush cutters. It's probably a terrible idea. Yeah, I think I cut off entirely too much. But that's okay. Because we're experimenting. I'm also not going to bother screwing this down again. If it's good enough in here that I don't have to. So check that out. That actually is pretty nice. I mean, there's like, there's there's some travel because the button is not right up against the uh, shoulder button here. But like once you bottom out the plastic button against the actual tact switch, there's zero travel. It's you press it down and then click. For reference, oh shoot, the uh, right shoulder actually doesn't work in this shell because it's um, IPS modded and I didn't do the mod quite right the first time. This is the one that I was using that little speaker or um, spring on. But, I don't know, we can try it. Yeah, you can see this one is more of like a, a curve to the, well, I suppose you can't actually see that, but if you've used a GBA before, you know there's like a little bit of a curve to the actuation force, like it's light, light, and then heavier, 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 and then it finally, you know, you get a little click, whereas this one, it's light, 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 click. The actual actuation force, I'd say, is heavier, but it's more... Like, you're sure you clicked it. I think this is pretty nice, actually. I think we're going to do the other button. I think it'll be good. But just in case I'm wrong on that, I'm not going to solder the anchors on either button just yet. Oh, 
goodness, and I'm going to have screws everywhere. This is going to be awful. All right. So let me get a new button here. And let's try and make these the same, yeah? Perfect. That worked out a lot better than I expected it to. Okay. So let's do the other side. Notice I did this side first because there's like nothing in the immediate area. Solder, or component wise, to fuck up. You know, that way if we were only doing one, just in case. If y'all do decide to pick up one of these, like, solder suckers here, which totally should. They're super convenient if you ever need to desolder something. Um, and if you have a silicone mat like I do, don't do it over the silicone mat. It's a pain in the... See you next Tuesday to clean. Yeah, I just said that. Deal with it. Alright, so it actually looks like I've got three out of the four desoldered on the first try. Instead of trying to desolder that, I'm just going to walk it. Oh, never mind. I just desoldered it. Oh, man. That went a lot smoother. That was nice. All right. What do I do with my other button? There it is. Whew. That was almost a really dumb mistake. <laughs> there we go. And I should have just soldered one down and then uh, made sure it was positioned properly, but it worked out. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we're good. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. Um, that's pretty much it for the mod. Now you just got to put your Game Boy back together. I'm not going to put this one back together just yet. Ah, excuse me. Hiccups. But, uh, I don't know. I think, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty decent. There we go. Tell me what you guys think. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to do it to all my Game Boys. But, uh... I think it's... I think it's worth... A little bit worthwhile. And do some good stuff. I am concerned with how these are open, though. Like, I think that might attract some dirt and dust. And y'all know how these consoles get dirty and dusty and gross, so... Might not be the best for longevity, but that's just my recommendation. I'll leave it up to uh gentleman who requested this. And um, otherwise, hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm not going to put...
put this together on camera. I'm going to do that off camera because it'll go so much quicker. And because I'm tired and want to go to bed. So have a good night. Thanks for watching.